Have you ever tried to develop an early morning routine of waking up before 6 a.m. every day? For much of my life, this was the one habit that I couldn't get to stick. But recently, in the past year, I figured it out. But first, my videos are brought to you 100% advertisement free because of a small group of amazing Patreon supporters. In return for your support, I create exclusive videos that I don't release anywhere else. I actually made a video this week that's kinda hard to explain. So I, well, let me just grind this coffee. So It was crazy. It was like one of those things that you had to really be there to believe, but you can check it out on Patreon. Uh, I think you guys are really gonna like it. When I started waking up early, I found that I could get more done by 11 a.m. than I normally did in an entire day. I got more done, I was less stressed, and by 5 p.m. I could either relax or spend time with the people I cared about. Now, if you're somebody who's following a nine to five, route, then you might be able to use your mornings to focus on your passions, to start writing or build that business from the ground up. There's a lot that you can do in the morning, but it really starts with figuring out how the hell to wake up early. These are some of the things that I've found helped me rise before 6 a.m. In order to commit to this new change, you need to understand why you wanna make the change in the first place. When you focus on the benefits that you'll receive, it's gonna be much easier to make this habit stick. It all starts the night before. I used to get so frustrated because the night before, I would be motivated, I would be inspired, I would be looking forward to waking up early the next day and changing my life. But then what happens? I wake up in the morning, 7 a.m., 6 a.m., and I am tired as shit, and I hit that snooze button, and I hit it over and over again, and I don't wake up early. What happened? I didn't put together a plan for my next day. I was motivated to wake up early, but I didn't have that why clarified. I needed to figure out a to-do list that gave me step one, two, and three. And I'm not talking about brushing your teeth or showering. I'm talking about why am I waking up early? Is it because I wanna write a book? Okay, great. Then step one, write 500 words, write 100 words, make it as simple and easy as possible for you, but know exactly what you wanna write. And figuring out that why is gonna help to motivate you in the morning, not just the night before. So before I go to bed, I'll either create a new list or review a list I've already made. It'll include up to three of the most important things that I wanna get done the next day. Before you ever have a chance of getting out of bed early, you need to have a purpose first. Find something that drives you. A simple step that will really help is to put your phone or alarm clock on the other side of the room so you have no choice but to get out of bed. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book. Take it a step further by putting a glass of water next to your phone. Right when you turn off the alarm, drink the entire glass of water. This usually wakes me up and further prevents me from slipping back into bed. Now this next step is really important and it really got me to not only wake up early that next morning, but to continue to wake up in the long run and to build a habit. The idea is that you need to wake up at the same exact time every morning, but only go to bed when you're tired. Maybe I, I didn't get to bed until 11 p.m. or 12 a.m., I'm gonna have maybe five, six hours of sleep and that's not gonna be good for the short term. But that next night I'm gonna be so tired by 9 p.m. that I'm gonna fall asleep much quicker, I'm gonna get a more full night's sleep and I'll start to build that habit of waking up at five or six a.m. And eventually what happens is you start to wire your brain to wake up at that time and you'll start to wake up even minutes before your alarm clock goes off. Anybody who has an early morning routine will know this, that waking up early gets easier the more you do it. Explain to your partner why you're doing this. First, it's gonna make sure that they don't get pissed off when the alarm unexpectedly goes off at 5 a.m., 
but two, it also creates accountability. So you don't wanna be the kind of person that doesn't follow through on their word. If you say that you're gonna wake up early, then you want to wake up early. You don't wanna let yourself down and you certainly don't wanna let the people that you care about down. If you don't have a partner, see if a friend wants to commit to making the change with you. If you don't have a friend, I think there's lots of websites that you could go to that might help you with that. Now, I know I said that you may need to deprive yourself of sleep in the short term for a night or two, but that is definitely a horrible long-term strategy. Most people need eight hours of sleep a night to function at 100%, but the benefits go beyond alertness. It reduces stress, helps your body repair itself, and can even improve memory function. And to those that are addicted to the hustle mindset and think they can sleep when they're dead, you will be dead much sooner if you get less than seven hours of sleep per night. One study following over 21,000 twins found that those who are sleep deprived have a 24% increased risk of death. I shouldn't have to sell sleep though, it's, it's pretty awesome. And you can do some additional things that really make sure that you're having a great night's sleep. Close the blinds, use earplugs, use an eye mask, use a humidifier during the winter, and play rain sounds before bed. Alexa, play rain sounds. Playing the rain song by Led Zeppelin. Son of a bitch. All these steps will help to make sure you get a full night's sleep and wake up well rested. The last piece of advice that I'll offer you is to keep it simple and attack this one habit by itself. Don't try to take on 12 habits at the same exact time. And I get this can be really frustrating advice to hear, especially if you just finished watching I'm Not Your Guru with Tony Robbins. You're motivated, you're fired up, you wanna change every aspect of your life. But think about the long run. If you're able to develop this one habit this month and a new habit next month and so on for an entire year, that's 12 new habits that you've developed and brought into your life. Now, if you look in the long term, look back on all those habits over 20 years, you're gonna look at a completely different person than if you hadn't taken it slow and steady. If there's something that I didn't mention in this video that helps you to wake up early every day, I'd love to hear it down in the comments. Let's start a discussion below. And of course, if you wanna contribute and make sure that this YouTube channel stays advertisement free, as well as get some really cool exclusive content, you can check out my Patreon account. And right now I'm gonna actually roll a little video with some voiceover talking about the account and some of the things that you can get by being a member. So if you sign up for the vlog tier on Patreon, you'll see that I break down my videos into these different categories. You can check out videos that I've made on lifestyle design, so people talk all the time about work-life balance. Under filmmaking and creativity, I break down how I make my videos. I got this whole overhead rig set up. I'll show a behind the scenes shot of that right now. In the personal section, you'll see videos from my daily life, vlogs of me traveling and spending time with family, friends, and talking about topics that are a bit more intimate. Not like weird intimate, but just like, like personal, I guess and get access to my AMA, where I answer questions exclusively from Patreon supporters. If this isn't a good time for you financially, then please do not feel pressured to contribute. The fact that you watch my videos alone means so much to me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.